since Charles Darwin, biologists have been inspired about the evolution of animal species, especially the finches and the iguanas and turtles, but also the evolution of plant species. And among the plant species, Scalicia, so the giant daisy, has attracted a lot of attention because it diversified over the islands into different species. What Darwin could not see at that time were, was the microbial world on these different islands and also the microbial world associated with these plant species. Because microbes can have beneficial functions for plants by providing nutrients or helping them to defend against diseases. And that's what we're going to do in this project. So we're going to uncover the microbial world that Darwin could not see. El género Scalesia es un género que es endémico para Galápagos. Es uno de los, eh, de los géneros que solamente existen en las islas. O sea, si desaparece el género, desaparece para el planeta entero. Y este género tiene en Galápagos, hasta lo que conocemos, 15 especies. Por ejemplo, especies que son endémicas para islas. Por ejemplo, Scalesia gordilloy, que es endémica de la isla donde estamos ahora, en San Cristóbal, y solamente se conoce en un sector de esta isla. Y así existen alrededor de siete de estas especies que solamente están en una sola isla. Escalesia cordata, eh, etcétera, etcétera. Escalesia villosa, incisa y divisa, que son dos especies que están al norte aquí en Punta Pit. Nunca se abordó el estudio de este grupo de, de una manera más eh, sistemática. Es decir, por ejemplo, empezar a entender cuántas especies realmente tenemos dentro del género. Las relaciones evolutivas dentro del género. Eh, dónde se encuentran, qué sería la distribución, ¿no? y después, obviamente, la, la conservación de las especies de este género. Con el viaje que acabamos de hacer, es evidente que viven en condiciones extremas, ¿no es cierto? Entonces, ¿cómo lo logran? Puede ser que la respuesta esté en las bacterias. During the eight days expedition uh, with the Yuwaka 2, we were able to cover the sampling on, uh, of nine Escalesia species on seven islands, uh, with the additional samples that we kindly got uh, from the Galapagos Barco project. Uh, we will have a total of 14 Escalesia species where we have samples from roots, leaves, flowers and soil. Uh, on a total of nine Iceland. Uh, in this way, uh, we are following in the footsteps of uh, Darwin. So we sample uh, Escalesia roots uh, at the depth uh, of uh, between 5 and 15 centimeters. The root samples uh, were stored uh, in live gas solution that it's a solvent to preserve the DNA and the RNA that it's present uh, in the microbiome. We also uh, collected at the same sampling sites uh, soil uh, to profile the microbial uh, fraction uh, that is selected uh, by the Scalesia uh, plants in the rhizosphere and in the atmosphere. And in the lab we prepare glycerol stocks of all these samples and we can use these later on for culturing and identifying the microbes present in the Scalesia tissues and they include bacteria but also fungi. Uh, we also extract DNA from these samples and we can use that for profiling the microbial communities using different uh, next generation sequencing technologies and this data later on we can analyze using different bioinformatic pipelines and also different statistical uh, approaches. Uh, we expect to find uh, soil and uh, Scalicia specific microbiome signatures uh, in, uh, from the rhizosphere, in this case are the roots, the endosphere, which is the inside of the root, um, and the phylosphere, which are the leaves. And uh, we think this connects to the, to, uh, to the genetic pattern uh, of the diversification of the different members of the Scalicia genus across the islands. On the other end, uh, we also expect to find a diversification specifically in the soil microbiomes. Um, and, and also a correlation with uh, certain physical chemical properties of the soils. And thinking about the soils is very interesting because uh, we sampled islands that are younger islands, middle-aged islands and older islands. So in this case they are in different um, yeah, 
moments of soil formation in this case. Um, we also hope or expect to find uh, unique microbes and also unique microbial functions. And in this way we hope to unravel um, the microbial world that Darwin couldn't see in this case uh, when he visited uh, the Galapagos Islands in 1835. We are looking into functional traits of these microbes. If these microbes can help Scalesia to survive the harsh conditions on the different islands. And that would be a nice stepstone in the restoration program for the endemic and endangered Scalesia species.